What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are here at a car show, but I wanted to talk to you guys about some maintenance that is pretty overlooked. Most likely you have overlooked this on your Corvette. We have a C7 and a C8 here that I'm going to show you this overlooked maintenance item and we're going to get it done. We're going to change it today. Let's talk about it. All right guys, so before we start, honorable mention for Dana White here. You guys know him. He's not actually the Dana White, but he's Dana. And everybody calls him Dana White because he's Vanna White. He's usually showing something off on my channel. Today, he just got himself a set of E5 wheels on his C7 Corvette Z06. We're gonna take a look at those, and we're gonna do this maintenance item that everybody overlooks because Dana has overlooked it on his car. He admitted it. Yes. Tell me. I don't drive it as much as like a regular car, so yes, I overlooked it. Overlooked. Overlooked. It's easy to overlook, guys. So with the C8 and the C7 Corvette, like I said, we're gonna be talking about this overlooked maintenance item, but I wanna kinda ease into this in a way that you, anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, you can kind of understand. The big 6.2 liter supercharged engine here in the uh, Corvette Z06, and then of course the 5.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, still pretty large, they need air filters. So what's happening there is basically it's filtering the air that's being sucked into the engine, which then goes on to create your horsepower. But just like that engine needs that filtered air, so do you. So what we're replacing today is going to be the cabin air filter. So if you guys haven't heard of this, it is the same kind of thing, same kind of concept, only it's filtering the air that's actually coming into the cabin that you're breathing. So this is a big a big deal because Dana's car, how many miles did it have on it? About 25. 25,000? I have a feeling it's never been done. Mine has about 7,000 miles on it and I haven't done it yet either, but it's less likely that it's gonna be a giant problem with mine than it is with Dana's because his hasn't been done for so long. We're gonna do both of them. I'm gonna give you the part numbers and I'm gonna show you kind of how to do it too because this is really something that they recommend you do every year. So pretty much every oil change, you should really be doing this. And honestly, these filters are only, I believe they were 10 or 11 bucks on Amazon. So I'll leave obviously all the links in the description down below for both the C7 and the C8 Corvettes. But yeah, like I said, this is something you should be doing a lot more often than you probably are, especially since I know a lot of you out there, drop the comment down below if this is the case for you, didn't even know that this was something that you should be doing because I've talked to a lot of people who don't even know that a cabin air filter is a thing. So we're gonna start with the C7 Corvette first. We're gonna, this is the uh, part number for the air filter. Of course, I'll link it in the description down below as well, guys. But this air filter actually goes right back in here you can see the three metal clamps there once we pop those off the stock one will come out that one slides in this one on the c7 is a, a hair more difficult because it's kind of a cramped space but it, both of them are super easy to replace all right so these go up so here. the three metal clips get pushed up yeah they go. and then there's a little door and that, that goes gets pulled down, down right and it comes all the way out so there's the door oh, yeah i did definitely overlook that <laughs> there's the filter in there you can see it it's going to be a little difficult. Sometimes you got to remove the, the overflow hose here. We might have to pull that off to get that filter out. But once we get it out, we'll compare it to the new one. And it's actually not that bad. Uh, it's dirty though, it actually. Is. But you guys can see, it's got some some stuff, some stuff in there. Yeah. So this one you can see. You can see somebody messed it up though. Yeah. It was crunched in there. And you can tell it also does not have activated charcoal on it the way that this one does. And what that's going to do is help remove uh, like pollen and smells out of the air. So big thing for those of you who get allergies, the pollen. This is pretty dirty and it has been replaced at some point. So this is the kind of stuff that you you, you could potentially be overlooking. So let's look at the new one compared to this one. This one's still in the wrapper, but you can see how it's got like that dark gray on it. That's actually activated charcoal. So, I mean, you could tell just by feeling it too, that's a lot more of a stout filter. This one is a lot more flimsy. It's gonna make it a little more difficult to install but it's gonna hold up better. It's not gonna have this crunched end on it. So yeah, let's get it installed. Right. So once we open this up, guys, one thing to keep in mind, especially on the C7, is there is a specific airflow. So you'll see here, if you get the charcoal one, you wanna make sure that that airflow is pointing down. So we'll go ahead and get that slid in there. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with the, the less flimsy version here, but you should be able to just slide it right in there. And then we'll just put that door back on and pop those clips back up. So here it is, guys. New one installed. Did take a second. Uh, like I said, it is less flexible than the non-charcoal uh, versions. 
So now we'll just pop that door right there back on there and pop the three clips back down and it is good to go. And before we move on to the C8 guys to do the same thing, I wanna mention Dana's wheels really quickly. He actually just got these on from E5 wheels. Really, really a nice setup here. Loving the look of these things. Dante over at E5, hitting it out of the park. These things look fantastic on the C7 Z06. Uh, he's going to be at Carlisle. He's going to be hanging out at Dante's booth, the E5 booth at Carlisle. So come check out the car. You'll, you'll notice it right off the bat. It's going to have a bunch of horsepower obsessed stuff on it. But yeah, guys, check out the wheels. <sighs> yeah, they look good. If you're in the market for a new set of wheels for your C7, check out E5, man. Let's move on to the C8 cabin air filter, which is a little bit easier to replace. It requires a little bit more disassembly, but it's less of a tight space we'll say so what we have to do is we have to get in underneath the trim here which requires removal of this trim piece this trim piece and then the big center trim piece here and that's pretty much it so the side parts here guys you just pull straight out with and then that center you just pull straight up and you'll realize it's just a couple clips nothing too crazy do one on each side i've done this a million times but since i'm the guy behind the camera we're having dana white do it for you today pop up there's one more up there yep there you go okay so now with this out of the way guys you can already kind of see in there to see the filter but ultimately that is the filter housing right there and uh right there's the anti-gravity batteries for those of you wondering how that thing's been i've had it in there now for almost actually a little over a year and it's still doing it's doing well here is the part number for the c8 corvette the same style filter again linked in the description down below it's got the activated charcoal on it that is the part number you're going to want for the c8 let's do it so you just got to depress those clips there's four of them yep and then the lid will come off just like it did on the, the c7 and there's your filter now this one you're going to want to pay attention to the airflow arrows they're pointing towards the car so we'll go ahead and pop that one out no, no filter and it's really clean actually. Yeah, so I figured this one would be pretty clean because eh, it's still actually go, turned over again. Some dust. There's a little bit of dust in there. It's yeah. a little dirty. I got about 7,000 miles on the car, so this should have been replaced because I'm at a year. It must have well, been one when you were off-roading. <laughs> it must have been when I was off-roading, yeah. So anyway, guys, this one is the activated charcoal version. So it's going to filter a little bit better than the stock one anyway. Let's go ahead and get this one in. You can tell this is factory because of that stamp right there, but yeah, not bad. This one's a little cleaner than Dana's, but I'm actually surprised it's as dirty as it is. Here's the comparison. Nope, other side, there we go. So that's the factory. That's the new one with the activated charcoal. You can see they're the same size and everything. We just got some activated charcoal on this one. So airflow, airflow is pointing towards the car, just like that. So that's how it will drop right in there. So just like that, you guys just want to lift up on the cowl a little bit to let it slide in, but you can see it's in there with the airflow pointing the correct direction. And that's it. We'll put the door back on it, put all the clips back in and everything, and then we have two successful cabin air filter changes. So this is the last little piece here, guys. Like I said, C8 is really easy to do. Requires a little bit more disassembly, but the C7, uh, just a little bit of a tighter workspace. Either way, guys, like I said, this is something a lot of people overlook and don't do as often as they should. This is something you should be doing pretty much every year in most people's cases with Corvettes especially, probably every oil change. So just for reference guys, this is what Dana's car looked like with the stock wheels. As you can see, they don't look bad on the car by any means, but it is one of those things where after you get the new wheels from E5, they just, they just look better. So these are obviously the cup wheels for the C7 Z06. These were actually an upcharge in 2016 whenever Dana's car was built, but Nice looking wheels. They are actually for sale. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. Dana is looking to sell these wheels. But ultimately, I think the E5 wheels look better. And just for comparison's sake, guys, here is the E5 wheels again. Again, huge shout out to Dante over at E5. If you guys are interested, make sure you message him. Let him know you saw them on the Horsepower Obsessed YouTube channel and he'll hook you up. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, this is one of those overlooked things. I know I've mentioned it a bunch in the video, but if you guys wanna do your own maintenance, if you're like me in that aspect and you wanna make sure, number one, that it's done right, but number two, that it is actually done, because this is one of those things that you could pay somebody to do and they may not actually do it for you. They may say they did, but they may not actually do it. One of those kind of things. So doing it yourself gives you a couple different things. Like I said, it, it gets done, it gets done right, and it gives you that feeling of success, that feeling of you did it yourself. So you saw how quick me and Dana did it. And honestly, 
filming this, even filming it only took a couple minutes, but if we hadn't filmed it, it would have been 20 seconds per car to get this done. So don't overlook this in the future. Get your cabin air filters in the description down below. I'll link both of them for the C7 and the C8. They're like 10 to 15 bucks. Change it every year with your oil and you and your lungs will thank you. Anyway guys, if you liked what you saw, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, stay obsessed.